the struggle I have. I'm gonna get things like bracket, phenomenological, phenomenology, and people. So, okay, I'm gonna bracket my presuppositions. All right, so in the dissertation, you know, I did, like, you know, went through all the, you know, analogies and phonologies and metaphors of what it means to watch television. All right, so you want to be deconstructed. Right? Okay, so it's a new life. No. It's watching TV. You're not shooting shit up in your It's not a drug. It's not this. It's not that. And then you realize, well... Like, talk to me about TV, and no one can remember. Like, when I was five, <laughs> but that you can't really mention it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what is this? Why do I remember more things than they do, and how does that really Researcher, inner subjectivity, all that kind of shit. You know, because on one side, I mean, when George came up and said, like, This is it. It's like, all right, so we bracket out, you know, their own knowledge of culture, which means you don't watch this shit without feeling guilty about I want to bracket that shit out. I don't want to be like that. But on one level, isn't that really making an intrusion on the whole experience? If I say, and they can't, and I want them to ignore me, this is a struggle between the two. So if I get them to explain their bodily experience, it means they bracket it out part of their existential Because they already know that, that what they watch is. Five bowls of coffee to the bomb and drink about 
and six packs on the two later. Uh, and I would watch Gilmore Pyle. And that was like my habituated behavior. I would watch Gilmore Pyle. And one day, I went home and I smoked five or six bombs and drank a six pack of beer. And I turned on the TV and I was waiting for Gilmore Pyle to come on. And instead, there was some like major news crisis. I mean, like, like I don't know, the U.S. The U.S. invaded some like. Feeling actual over the fact that Gomer Pyle had been created. I mean, I did. I felt myself like like grief, like confused. Oh no! Real, honest to God, grief because Gomer Pyle had been created. They do. And it struck me, and it was like one of the most horrifying moments of my life. Funny, I was terrified. I caught myself an out of body experience. I caught myself experiencing grief over the preemption of Goma Pyle. And I knew that I had to do something different. And that's why I went back to school and that's why I was in this room. It wasn't going to pile, it was the absence of going to pile. The absence.